Hi Dan and uh, Joe, I'm just doing this quick video for you so I can send it in a messenger and I think it's a bit better than just that video clip thing that you, um, not video clip, sound clip thing that it does because it only gives you like a minute. Anyway, there have been a couple of developments so I've spoken to Aaron which is Dan's, well you know Dan, he's your um, website bloke and he's in connection with social media advertising and stuff so I've asked him if he might be able to make me up a website for America and then what I was going to do is going to ask you both if it's okay to put your contact details on there as the first point of contact for um, investors in, in America that are looking to buy in Australia um, so they've got somebody that they can call as a point of contact to begin with, ask some questions, um, you can grab details of who they are and what they're not looking for, that kind of thing, and then just email them back to me. But I think it's good to be able to speak to somebody over the phone or maybe even have a, uh, uh, a conversation with them face to face or video chat or, or whatever it is you want to do with them. But um, if I put you down, obviously I'm not going to put mention the other companies where you work. Um, because I don't want it to interfere with you, you, your current job and, and things like that if it's going to be any aggro. But um, what I do is I'll say that you're um, both uh, real estate consultants for my real estate advisor that are based in America. And if we get any sales off the back of, of that, then um, the standard agreement will be the 30% of whatever the whatever we sell goes go back to the original referrer so you both be paid um, ten thousand um, dollars if it's a house land package if it's something else then we'll just have to look at what the commission is and then split it up accordingly so um so yeah i just wanted to check with you both that you're comfortable with doing that um because it might be something that might interfere with what you're currently doing it shouldn't do because it's a it, it's selling real estate in australia and, and um it's not really um, relevant to what you're doing. It's just, I need a, a point of contact that's um, in the same time zone as the people that are looking at the website. So they can go onto the website and say, okay, I could ring Dan or I could ring Joe or whatever. I can actually have a conversation with these people and say, okay, right, well, what's available? And all I've got to do from your point of view is just email you the details of um, the pricing and things like that. I've got a couple of new developments as well um, that I wanted to let you both know. Um, the EXP thing is hopefully going to be up and running by the end of October. I spoke to the, the guy in um, Sydney, so I'm just going to keep in touch with them and, and hopefully get that signed up and get that. Then I'm going to start a recruitment um, drive. Oh, fuck's sake. A recruitment drive um, in the new year and try and get uh, 40 agents working for me. But the other thing that's come up, um, I um, contacted uh, somebody on LinkedIn and um, sent them a video saying, you know, I do you know, house and land packages and all that sort of palaver. And they've actually come back to me and said, well, I've got three websites and they're for, uh, one of them's for off, off plan stuff that people can't get their hands on and then the other ones investment properties and first time buyer stuff but this individual has been running basically doing the same sort of job that i'm doing now same kind of business but he's been doing it for 10 years so he's got contracts with multiple builders multiple developers and he's also got contracts all over australia as well so in actual fact um there's over 5,000 properties available through those websites and they can be rebranded with my brand and all the rest of it and it's like a subscription thing so the other thing was i was worried about was the licensing side because in australia you have to have a license in each state to do um, basically be a real estate agent um, but luckily uh, because it's new builds that licensing restriction doesn't apply because it's a contract between the buyer and the builder so the real estate agent is just the middleman so it can be a web-based company it doesn't really matter so combining the two things together 
buying the EXP recruitment thing as in recruiting the agent to get paid 80% and also combining the, the other side with the 5,000 listings available. I think I can put together a decent enough package which will work also from American point of view um, if the person doesn't want to just buy property in Queensland they wanted to buy say in Sydney and New South Wales or Melbourne or whatever um, I'll now have access to property all over Australia so from your point of view um, when you're having a conversation with somebody who's thinking of investing you can say well you know if they only know Sydney for example which is probably the case um, you can say well we do have property available in Sydney and the price range starts from here's the link to the website or whatever so I think if we can put these things together get this website up and running in the US link you chaps up there as a point of contact um, and then obviously have the age build a build a company up in Australia with more agents through EXP as well I think that's a good combination there um, so I'm just uh, I'm not overly excited I'm tired I was speaking to him on Skype until 12 o'clock at night or something last night so I'm, I'm not with it today I had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and drop my wife off at work so I excuse me if I'm like hello I'm tired but yeah I am so yeah so I think if we can get all these things set up together um, and you've got a platform to use as well uh, it should be an extra revenue stream for you both if, if you're able to do it if there's no conflicts of interest with the, your company that you're working for um, I, I shouldn't think there is because like I say it's just you're just doing some consulting work um, and it's it's a commission only consultant work as well so if it turns into a sale then you get paid so you're not you know it's like a freelance thing really it shouldn't impact on on what you're currently doing I don't think so anyway um, but if it's going to be an issue just let me know but hopefully it won't be so yes yeah, so I just thought I'd keep you up to speed so bottom line is I'm going to recruit more agents I'm going to have access to 5,000 listings all over Australia I'm going to set up a USA based website um, that you can both be a part of and we're also going to um, Go to, go to town on advertising on social media to try and get first time buyers and investors sorted out. So I might even look at advertising on social media in America and Facebook and things like that just to see, test the water and see how it goes. So yeah, so exciting times. Uh, I don't seem really excited but that's because I'm tired. So yeah, let me know what you think and um, send me a message back or give me a call or Skype me or whatever you want to do. And we'll catch up or if you want to email me just email me um but yeah look forward to catching up with you both all right enjoy the rest of your day cheers bye